Hi, my name is John, and I don't know much. This week, it has been confirmed that Costa Rica has been running on 100% renewable energy for the last 75 days straight, 24-7. This is incredible. Uh, now, I do want to mention that when I first saw this, I thought it was solar power just because, I don't know, I like solar power. It's actually water powered. The article I have here, which is linked down below, says that thanks to heavy rainfalls at four hydraulic power facilities in the first quarter of 2015, they've been able to provide 100% renewable power for the entire country, which is really cool. Now, of course, if you had solar power as well, you probably would have been able to prolong that just so it could make up in case you ran out of water or whatever. Now to give you some context about the size of this, in case you don't know how big Costa Rica is, it is 51,000 square kilometers, which is half the size of the state of Kentucky in the United States, which is quite small. It only has 4.8 million people and its primary industries are tourism and are agricultural, which means that they're not needing a lot of electricity for oil or mining or whatever so while it's not super cool like as if we uh if california was a hundred percent powered for 75 days by renewable energy it's still super duper impressive and i'm sure that a state in the united states like california or even something smaller like kentucky could probably go completely 100 percent wind solar uh, hydraulic something or all three combined powered and I do like that this is happening because I really hope that it will become a bigger standard for homes because right now it's really only for industrial type stuff or like in this case it actually powers the whole darn country but in Florida there are lots of solar power solar panels on people's houses just because they get so much sun but they only have like maybe five maybe ten of the most for a really big roof but that's probably not going to power your entire house. And right now, in my state, you actually can't even rent solar panels for your house from some companies. And so it'd be way too expensive to just buy your own and put it on your roof. And you would have to wait decades for it to ever pay itself off. But thankfully, since uh, our power infrastructure is so bad here, it would be nice to have that just so that your power doesn't go out when there's a storm. So we'll see if this... Uh, is big shock to the United States or something and maybe we'll see if uh, it is it influences people starting to use renewable energy I think this is cool and I want to see what you think so leave it in the comments below if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up for more videos subscribe